by brain for birth. Let's all make this choice to enhance our ability to learn. St. Francis Resales College, established in the year 2004 with the motto Excellence, Transformation and Efficiency, always strive to keep up to the, its motto. This era of technology is challenging for all technical teaching fraternity when students are able to access any information with a click. <laughs> to make their classes more interesting, especially online. This two days workshop on teaching and learning using ICT helps us to use technology at its best to have more efficient and effective teaching learning environment. Let's begin our session by invoking God's prayer. Heavenly Father. Good ma'am. Ma'am, good afternoon. I kindly request everyone to mute yourself. Good afternoon, ma'am. Kindly mute yourself. My name is Shaktivel. E. Road Sengundar Engineering College, Autonomous. I am studying. What's a good one? We are very sorry for that. Let's continue with Lord's Prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this workshop. Help us engage in meaningful discussion. Allow us to grow closer as a group and nurture bonds of community. Fill us with your grace, Lord God. We pray that you would deepen our comprehension, broaden our thinking, and transform our understanding of what we are about to study. For you are our wise counselor, our perfect teacher, and our faithful friend. And continue to remind us that all that we do here today all that we accomplish is for the pursuit of truth, for the greater glory of you, and for the service of humanity. We ask these things in your name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. At times, our own light goes out, and it's rekindled by a spark from another person. We have such an eminent person, Dr. Doreen Robin. We welcome you, ma'am. It is his vision and leadership that has brought us all here for this workshop. Yes, he is none other than our principal, Reverend Dr. Roy. Welcome, Father. With deep regards, we welcome our beloved vice principal, Father Jojo, for his constant support and encouragement. A warm welcome to academic coordinators, UG and PG. And a special word of welcome to all the enthusiastic participants who have joined this session from Philippines, Algeria and France, irrespective of their time difference. On behalf of the Department of Computer Application and ICT, I welcome you all once again. Thank you. Now, I kindly request Professor Lakshmi, coordinator, Department of Computer Science to introduce our resource person, Dr. Doreen Robin, Founder and Director, Computational Intelligence Research Foundation, Chennai. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Professor Sahaja. It's not that we use technology, we live technology. And we have the right person here who will take us through Dr. Doreen Robin, is the director and founder of Computational Intelligence Research Foundation, CIRF Chennai. She has a doctorate in computer science and engineering from Anna University, Chennai. Her research interest includes parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer computing, and so on. Her previous positions include professor and head at Loyola ICAM College of Engineering and Technology, 
in the Department of Information Technology. She has also served in different institutions. Dr. Doreen has published about 30 papers in international and national journals and conferences. She is a life member of IST, reviewer of Computer and Electrical Engineering Journal, Future Generation Computer Science Journal. She is also a resource person for various workshops and webinars. During the pandemic, she has trained more than 4,000 plus staff on how to teach online around the world. We are elated to have Dr. Doreen as our resource person for the day one session on teaching and learning using ICT. And I now request Dr. Doreen Robin to take over the session. Over to you, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Lakshmi, ma'am. Hope you're all able to hear me. And it's my immense pleasure to join with St. Francis Day Sales College, Bangalore. All right, for having this two days workshop and for the kind invite, I would like to thank the entire management uh, from the principal, the directors, the academic coordinators, the faculty, the students. A special thankful note to the participants here. All right, today, e learning tool or e technology is not a new buzzword, nor or traveling with e learning for how many years? When did this boom come? of e-learning or e-teaching on ICT tools. It became viral. How many years? Two years, right, from the pandemic. But what is the lesson that we have learned? This pandemic cannot affect the academics of the students, right? So though we know about learning tools, though we don't know about learning tools, all the faculties, they came out of comfort zones to learn, to equip, to share the transfer of knowledge, whatever we have learned. All right, it, it gives me immense pleasure today to meet you all. So this session will be an active session. So as and when, when asked question, feel free to respond on the chat. All right, kindly do not unmute. Only when you are asked to unmute, you can unmute. Otherwise, kindly keep the mics on mute, but post the answers on chat. All right, the first question for the day. All right, how are you all today? Can I have, we have got almost like uh, uh, 145 participants. Good, thank you, Shannon. I don't know, you're a staff or a student. Thank you, thank you, good, fine, thanks. Thank you, thank you, you're all doing good. Thank you for the viral response, awesome, thank you. This is Maruti sir or ma'am professor or Shiv Shumati ma'am. Good. Yeah. Ready sir. Excellent ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. In this pandemic, great. Blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Bennett Ajaturai sir, a professor or student. But I don't know, but I'm so happy. Even in this pandemic, uh, we are getting answers right. We are all doing good. We are all doing great. Yes, it's the greatest blessing of God. And we have around 145 participants around the world from Philippines, right? From Philippines, from Argentina, from France, from Chennai, from Tamil Nadu, all over India, all right? So today we are going to explore it. The session will be a session where I demonstrate and you also put your hands together and you are also going to try some of the tools you should already try it and some you are going to explore or unlearn things what is something new and something different or it, sometimes you think is this functionality available in the existing tool or is it new all right so that would be the session and then at the end of the session listen to the talk very carefully all right, at the end, we are going to play a live quiz. At the end, we are going to play a live quiz. By the time when you play the live quiz, we are going to see who is going to be the winner of the day. Who is going to be the winner of the day. So because we are going to see about ICT tools, you are all using different sets of tools. Can I have it on chat? What are the tools uh, that you use for teaching and learning process? On the chat? Quick, please. What are the tools? Like I use Google Meet, Google Zoom, or Google Classroom, or whatever it is. I'm not asking the equipment, the tools. Yeah, thank you. Google. No, not just Google, but what is the product in Google that you're using? Google Classroom. Thank you, Abhishek, Professor. 
Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, Welter, and others. Mm -hmm. How oh, as if your faculty is you are here, right? I, I was informed through Lakshmi ma'am, like 70 plus faculties from St. Francis de Sela, so you're here. What are the tools you use, use to teach? And I know you are all brilliant teachers, you know even more what I know. How good, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Google Classroom, quizzes, yes. Thank you, Vandal, quizzes, yes. Very well done. So now uh, let me share my screen and let's start with the presentation. So I'm going to share my screen. WebEx, Microsoft, MS Team. Thank you. Thank you all for sharing. Yes, keep please sharing it. Okay, G suit, thank you. All right, WebEx. This session, I want you all to participate. I want you all to respond. All right, I hope you're, you'll be able to see my screen now. Are you able to see in my screen? Are you able to see the slides? Yes, no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So thank you for that. Thank you for the response. So you're able to see in my uh, slides, right? It's getting loaded. So uh, these are several tools that you have learned. Some tools you know that you know. For some tools, it's just like that. That is what we are going to see. Once again, I would like to thank the entire management of St. Francis D. Sales College from Electronic City, Bangalore. Okay, and they are serving for many people, and they are serving for many people. And uh, basically, as they introduce, I'm a data scientist, keynote speaker, machine learning, deep learning trainer, and that's my mail ID. So before we start, we're going to have a very quick game that we're going to play. All right, these are the instructions. Listen to the instruction very carefully. At the end of it, you can share your experience on chat. One or two faculties one or two faculties could share your experience by unmuting your mic but they want you to be quick all right so read the color of the word but not the word what is this word it's blue don't read it as blue you should read it as a red blue yellow green black red and so on so you have to read it from first to last and from last to first you'll be given 20 seconds and at the end, you can share your experience whether you are able to complete or not from the first to the last and from the last to the first. Not this one. The next slide, you will get. We'll start after the game. So the rule of the game, listen carefully. You have to read the color of the word, but not the word. From first to the last and from last to the first. I hope the rules are clear. Yes, one of you can unmute and speak because I will not be able to see the... Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, I'll... Yes, shall we start? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, here we go. First, we'll start off with the timer for 30 seconds. Okay. Let's start. Listen carefully. Read the color of the word, but not the word. From the first to the last, and again from last to the first. Slowly, yes, at the end, one or, one or two, you can share your experiences, all right. <clears throat> Three, two, and one, thank you, okay, yes, share, can you share? It's clear. Is my voice audible? Is my voice audible? Yes, when you're audible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because somebody says they are not audible. Okay, one of you can share, unmute your mic and share your experience. Some of them are sharing their experiences on the chat. Yes, Suraj Agarwal. 
Professor Suraj Agarwal and Renuka Ma'am. Two of you are given the chances to share. We got confused. Yes. Okay. Quickly, can you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sangeet. Jag, I, I'm Jaganjit Singh, sir. Can you unmute? Yeah, ma'am. Ma 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 uh, initially, it, it is really tough to, you know, recognize those colors. Uh, uh, but, you know, as we move, you know, on, it becomes, you know, it becomes a habit or, you know, we, our mind, you know, starts accepting that thing. So it becomes easier at the end. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, Professor. Yes, uh, Prasad, sir, has said. And yes, ma'am, it was confusing, but it was interesting, interesting, but confused. Even the same way we all would have thought, right, when our college, they said, like, you have to start working on online. So we, myself and my husband, he's working as a dean in a college, okay, engineering college, and uh, cognitively challenging. Thank you, Professor Suresh. All right. Word color coordination is difficult. Thank you. So... We have trained more than 5,000 faculties around the world to take online classes, all right? To make underline, to emphasis more onto that, there are faculties who don't know even how to open an email, but now you know they're all brilliant teachers and you are all also brilliant faculty members using ICT tools. Yes, thank you so much for joining the game and sharing your experiences, all right? So creative thinking is more important. Whatever the tool that you use for teaching, okay, creative thinking is most, most, most needed. It's a most needed when you go in for online teaching. So before I start the game, I told what it is for, who it is for, who are we communicating, how it works, how to access, what you need, why, how, and what is more important to ask. Because only once that is there, it is more needed for us for teaching into it. Okay, there are hundreds of tools. There are hundreds of tools. Because when I gave the game, you were all, you're all trying to think, right? Once it is only word, there is no kind of thinking at all. So when you use a normal teaching or online teaching or offline teaching or live teaching, what of blended teaching, one factor that is more than the tools that we use for faculties, you are all brilliant, you are more experienced than me. Yes, even we are in this field for so many years. I have addressed people, students from K to 12, college students, PhD scholars, corporates, everybody, right? Creative thinking is what I would like to share to you today. Okay, that's more important. With the right attitude, most situations are winnable. Even the ones that at first may seem impossible. Some of us, with other, is it possible? How the colors, how the words, but with the right, right attitude, most situations are winnable. When first, when, when we were asked to take online classes, in 2017, with myself and Mesman, we started evangelizing about this digital classroom. And one Jabalpur, we trained the faculties around Asia how to use. But there was, they were learning, but there was a, not a so good welcoming note. But during this pandemic, it has spread virally. Okay. Anything in life with the right attitude, most situations are winnable, even the ones that at first may seem impossible. What, we are all, most of us, your faculties, right? What a teacher is more important than what he teaches. Okay. If I'm going to ask some of you to share. Who was your best teacher in your life? You will recognize not the way that teachers, how they deal with the students. Okay. What a teacher is more important than what he teaches. All right. So I will give a chance to one faculty, only one. Who would like to give a thankful note to your teachers? We don't have much time. Who would like to give a thankful note to one best teacher in your life? I don't know. The teacher may be alive. Or... Ma'am, I would I would like to share, ma'am. Yes, please. Ma'am, when I was doing my uh, um, uh, master's in English language and literature at Sri Padmavati University, Tirupati, we had one teacher named uh, uh, Bharti, ma'am. So we were more interested how she connected all the lessons with our life. Mm. And she touched, she used to visit our hostel also. Mm. I saw she was the only professor who visited our hostel, our rooms. And she saw how we sat, how we slept. And mm. I remember her even today. Mm. So that is, I think she was the best teacher we had. And the way she used to wear a very simple, means very low cost saris. But other faculty members, they used to wear silk and all. <laughs> 
that lady's total attitude was different mm. even though she was like that we loved her so much so oh. i still remember and i think that everybody will accept whatever i have said now thank yes. you ma'am for giving thank me this opportunity thank you once again can you say the name of the teacher yes uh, professor bharti ma'am from padmavati university tirupati yeah a great round of applause to professor bharti ma'am see how true is this word okay if i ask uh, saudmita ma'am what she taught oh, she taught the subject but see she related with life lessons more than that she came out of comfort zone visited the students in hostel i don't know now she would have got married having kids working i don't know what what professor is doing but still what a teacher is import what a teacher is is more important than what he teaches this is a best take away thank you for sharing such a wonderful uh, experience about professor bharti all right now when you come into e learning tools there are this is what is important the critical thinking how we make the making the children to think while you take classes or it's like you speak and the students listen sometimes we see a lot of mimis right they switch it on they go out they come in it it lies in the hands of the teacher it lies in the hands of the teacher critical thinking is more important okay critical thinking is more important e learning when you take it is learning facilitated by technology learning facilitated by technology when we started the session i was asking you all a question what are the tools you were all using right each of you were saying different tools right google meet google classroom all right and you're saying webex zoom learning facilitated by technology learning facilitated by technology all right efficient way of delivering courses as the resources when you write it on a board when you take a live class all right when you rub it off okay and then it goes off but when you post a material on the portal imagine it stays for long students can interact today we are going to see about different new tools okay having group discussions all right and private chats the material can be accessed unlimited number of times so it is used to introduce abstract concepts technical inputs through videos teaching aiding resources okay the best teaching aiding tools hands on advanced technology tools you can target like one professor told cognitively interesting it has to trigger the cognitive of the students target multiple intelligence face to face interaction laced with computer aided learning increases teachers efficiency formative assessment improves productivity all right and real time learning and provides real time learning innovative teaching learning procedures these are some of the facilities that we could have and you are all experiencing it through so you all know about google classroom google meet zoom microsoft team how many of you use um, um, <clears throat> slides to teach your class multiple access is yeah rooms how many of you how many of you use uh, slides or what do you say powerpoints to teach classes if you if you are using powerpoint answer is at p if you are using if you are using google slides to teach in the chat give it as g if you give g you are using google slides to teach if you are using powerpoint that is microsoft powerpoint uh, give answer it as p p or g yeah g p g and p okay p p p p g and p p all right everybody yeah great going i'm so happy to have excellent participants like this that to post lunch right it's totally challenging every time wherever they call me right most of the time i don't know it's i'm fortunate always to get a post lunch and say ma'am your session you will be able to handle and bring people and i'm so happy 150 participants and you're all doing a great job yeah now as some of you would have known about it for some it may be new i'm going to show you some of the new features what is or are available in google slides okay google slides the most important thing on google slide is it provides collaborative learning it provides collaborative learning i hope you are all able to see thank you samitha ma'am you are able to see in my screen 
okay you are all into gmail right now because you are all using google meet that's the confirmatory test right so uh, first listen to me then I, you can follow what i'm saying when you click on the nine dots over here click on the nine dots on top right and you could see slides okay i'm going to click slides if you are using mobile, even you have an application for Google Slides in your Play Store and also in your App Stores. All right. So once I open, you can see what is the today I'm going to show you for the first few minutes, the difference between using PowerPoint to teach and using Google Slides to teach. I'm going to select a blank slide. All right. I'm going to select a blank slide. Okay. And this is how the presentation comes and all the data is on your google slide it is stored on your google drive so wherever you have this system with internet connectivity you'll be able to use it and also once you have done it you can download it using different formats okay you can download it as uh, as a powerpoint if you want to have it for local access okay you can power you can download it as a pdf you can download it that particular slide as a jpeg file png file and also vector graphics file so now i'm going to show you a simple demo all right of demo for san francis all right as i click here once i click it on here i get my next slide okay so other things you already know okay other things you already know how to type it because those are the things that are same and now here what i'm going to show you if i'm going to click insert and if i'm going to click video okay i can search here itself i can search here itself say for example i'm going to search my name dorian robin okay i'll be able to get my details all right or something it's a technological talk see i've given it for 100 minutes okay most of sometimes they invite me for three hours talk all right and then if i want to on e-learning or something or anything that you would like to find it out okay see this is 131 on 40 minutes but when you share share for events which are less than four minutes or five minutes okay four minutes or five minutes see now i'm going to use this one okay i'm just going to click i know it's it's a bigger thing just i'm going to select and select it. that's it so what happens the entire video comes in here okay i i i need not search and then here you can maximize how how bigger is the screen how bigger you want to have the video and when you play it right from here it will not take you to google youtube so the students will not have distraction see if i'm going to present slideshow here it will play right here and it will not drive me to youtube so inside my slide itself i'll be able to play it out okay inside my slide itself i'll be able to play it out so this is one uh, capability but once you use powerpoint you have to copy copy the link and come and there is sometimes you think i i go to youtube and i want to uh, <coughs> okay i'm going to search for saint francis all right if there is some video if you you have a particular url and uh, and you want that particular url to be to be shared first thing what i showed you is to go see i i see a video here of seven minutes of saint francis right so i can click on here I'll open up the video. If I, if you want to share a particular video, click on share, and wherein you will get the particular URL. Copy the URL. Okay, copy the URL. Come to the slide. 
See, first thing I searched and I played. And I inserted the video here. Same thing video. Using URL. I'm going to paste the URL that I've copied. Then I'll get a thumbnail. Yeah, select it. Yes. And then insert, select. So this is the way you can, it is not going to get loaded anywhere. From here, it is just going to connect to YouTube. But YouTube portal will not be opening. But your video will be played from, your video will be played from your slide. Okay from your slide likewise if you have got if you have created your own teaching material and it is in your drive then you can upload it and also audio files okay audio files whatever the audio files if you have got anybody has shared audio files with you or any reason audio files you have audio files also you can insert it okay so and then when you see here okay and um, now, and I told you, right, it allows collaborative learning. It allows collaborative learning like that. You've got different themes. Now, what are we going to do? Okay. Uh, I, what are we going to do? I'm going to share this link. Okay. To with you all. I'm going to give anyone with the link. And I'm going to give it as editor. Done. And also, when uh, before sharing it, I will, sh uh, yeah, um, once I've copied, share, copy this link. Now I'm going to post it onto your Google Meet. All right. Now everybody click on the link. Come on to this. And each of you are going to take one slide. In each slide, type in your name, your designation, your department, which college. If you have got videos of it, post your videos. Or you want to say one unique thing about you, you can post it. But each faculty should take only one slide. Come down. Like one of them have joined. Two have joined. Three have joined. Come down. You can select from fourth slide. You can also click. You can also create. See, at one within next, I'm going to give two to three minutes. Each of you select one slide. If one person is typing the slide, you can see like this. So you go in for a new slide. <coughs> Don't type on the first slide. Saumita so, ma'am, come down. <coughs> Each of you can click and you can create your own slides. Yes. Yeah, come down. Don't be on the title slide. Come down. Come down. Each of you select one. If you see some of them are there, you enter a new slide. And you come. If you want to download or insert some pictures or good pictures or your area of interest or your research interest, one unique thing about me. And four slides, two, four slide, two of you are there. One of you could come down. Seven slide, four of you are there. Keep entering. Keep entering. Each of you can take one slide. Start typing it. Start typing it. Yes. Very well. I can say I am Dr. Janet, assistant professor from its college, from Coimbatore. See, next few minutes, how each one of you are going to type. Two of you are in the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Only 11 of you have joined. I want everybody to join. Quick. Hello, all. Yes. Nice. I am Jaganjit Singh, faculty, Foodwear Designs and Development Institution. Thank you, Professor. Saumita, ma'am, here in ICT training. Yeah, one of them, they have included a picture. Well done. William Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. I can see Mamta, Assistant Professor, Psychology from SFS. What a wonderful session, ma'am. Thank you. And also you can share some one unique thing about you. Two of you are there in slide number seven. One of you could come down. One of you could come down or enter a slide. You'll get another slide. See, this is how you can also give it to students. You can take like slide number one. This group can take and you can present what you have understood. Or you are very creative in giving assignments. 
Likewise, you can also give assignments to students. This provides collaborative learning. This provides collaborative learning. Very interesting. Thank you. What about others? Come down, come down, come down. If you're finding any difficulties, post on chat or you can unmute. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, only two faculties have typed. What about others? Here, don't give the YouTube link. Go to insert. I don't know who's that. Go to insert. Give. Go to insert. Select video. And then go and give URL and paste URL. Yeah, I can see Ashwini, ma'am. Thank you from Bangalore. Thank you. What about others? Keep typing, keep typing, type fast. You can keep entering how many of us slides you want. You have all given editors option. See, one of them, they have posted St. Francis. Uh, yeah, thank you for posting the video. Can you find the difference here? You can just like that play from here. Able to understand the collaborative learning using Google Slides. I don't know how many of you have expert before this, but use it for teaching. Use it for teaching. Beautiful. One more person also has included video. Keep inserting new, new slides. Try to explore. If you keep it till the end, you'll exactly get the entire video. What about others? So many of you are there, but I'm not able to see. Yeah, I can see Kumar, Kumar. Maya Matthew, ma'am, from St. Francis. Thank you. You have given it as a comment, Mr. Francis Lopez, sir. When you teach, when you want to give comments, you can give, but you can copy and paste the content inside the slide. Copy and paste the content. Ranjanit Raj. Nandini Prasad, wonderful session, ma'am. Thank you. Type your name, type your designation, type your college, type some picture, insert some pictures or share some one unique thing about you. Three of you are there in the home. First slide, come down, come down. Uh, click, uh, Reema Devi, ma'am, click on the link that I've given on the chat. It will be driving you to Google Slides. It will be driving you to Google Slides. All right. And there you can come down, select any one of the slide or create a new slide inside and type your name, your designation, your department, some unique things about you. Try to insert a video or your teaching from YouTube or uh, from Google Drive or from URL. Mm -hmm. Try it out, Reema Devi, ma'am. I hope others are also trying it out. Come down. Don't be on the first slide. Four of you are there. Come down. Come down. Dr. Shashikila, ma'am, come down. Milton, sir. Milton. Bharat University, kindly come down. Don't touch the title slide. Vineet, you've got so many slides. You can, you can also enter, keep entering slide. Uh, Rakshita, now I can see Rakshita, ma'am, in your slide, three or four of you are there. You can come down to 20. After 20, type one, enter, you'll get another new slide. Such an interesting platform. So happy to hear. See, these are all free of cost. These tools have given. So wonderfully, you can use it for your teaching learning purpose on your online teaching, on your online teaching. And also, you can use it for offline also 
it's not only for online teaching you give some assignments you want to give a collaborative learning among students after you teach for blended learning also it, it beautifully works interactive teaching method thank you see at one point thank you everyone for joining uh, saint francis de sales college bengaluru is happy to have you all here amen yes dr j uh prakash arul jos professor thank you professor from civil engineering kumara sir thank you professor yep. yes some of yeah reema devi ma'am you have got it well done from assam yes she was asking see how you are able to explore things so wonderful to see interactive participants Is somebody unmuted your mic? Do you have a doubt? I don't know. Some of them have clicked share screen. Able to see my screen now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. How do you feel about it? How do you feel Google Slides are? And next, I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to teach something here. listen carefully listen carefully now i hope everybody you have you would have completed typing it right you are all trying to type it and you are doing a wonderful job okay say for example i am teaching on slide okay uh, uh, let me show you i will take uh, a simple slide i'm for example i'm taking janet ma'am slide i i'm teaching to students i am teaching to students i am in the middle of my concept that i'm going to teach okay see what is the next efficiency that google slides yes please if you are not speaking mute your mic mute your mic on kindly mute off okay so it also provides a laser light when you teach okay and the next thing is that the most interesting can you see something called qa when you, you you are teaching a interesting topic and you want to ensure students are able to answer i am going to click qa okay from a particular slide i am going to ask a question answers to the students all right so those students who are connected to the slide will get information okay can you see my screen okay just click to present i'm going to start each of you don't think the slide is about only ashwini ma'am okay but you can ask some questions okay it's on and also you get a link now i'm going to post that link on the chat you can also click the link and post what some questions try to post this is just a demonstration session okay all the questions will appear here for the professors i am you are teaching and you are in the sixth slide before you move on to the second slide next slide i am asking a question now i am going to ask you a question how do you find the collaborative learning in google slide looks like Do you have any questions about it? I have shared a link slides. App. G Google. Dot G L. Click it on, and those who are inter inside the slide will get, and participants will get like this. So the T faculty will get. I think nobody has typed the question. Can you type the questions, please? Can one of you try typing the question? Any questions? Hello. on the link that i've given on the google meet slides dot app yeah thank you click the link so just copy and paste the link you get it or you want to yeah i can get like see excellent sessions impressive so for the students okay those who are listening to the talk will get like this can you see say for example if i want to present it if i click present can you see on my screen 
those who are on the google slide are you able to get see this nice those who are on the google slides that i've shared you are able to see this how to make sessions interesting you make you have to make the students interactive you need to make the students interactive see and also it comes along with the name of the student who is asking question good session thank you kumara sir and also you you have an option okay as a as a student as some person if i'm going to ask a question you can also make it ask anonymous so that the students sometimes they fear you not to ask question it can be given anonymous so anybody can ask you questions accordingly and you will be getting a for faculties you will get like this hello ma'am thank you somita ma'am good one first time using slides thank you shinon ma'am maya mathi ma'am okay interesting shiva shumati ma'am see can you see it is coming along with the name but when you take classes the students will be asking questions and what the what question a particular student is asking along with their name will be presented to all the students who are watching your session using slides okay as and when you take classes you can stop in the middle and you can start with your and if you don't want some questions some of them are giving some unwanted questions you also can have hide it or now if i'm going to stop i can click off the questions will be stopped and the students will not be able to answer question ask questions so during the middle of the class not able to click here this link also works but now i've stopped it okay okay so um listen so during the class you can stop in the middle ask questions so that you know how many students are answering only those students are listening to the class and those students are also using the slides able to understand yes do you find this google slides interesting new functionalities of collaborative learning asking see how do you ask question and answers during the session how many of you explore, explore, experience this question and answers and collaborative learning for the first time type on the chat first if you are using google slides and the question answers demonstration and demo that we have tried now and the collaborative learning type first yeah thank you jagdeep jagdeep singh sir thank you see most of them it's first time we have this tool are we using the tool qa is new ma'am thank you archana ma'am first time thank you so much thank you radha ma'am yes try using it in your class there is where you can have a track over your students what they are really doing at home what they are really doing at home so today you have learned you also know about google slides something new interesting things about google slides we have seen so when you take any kind of e learning tools it has cms e books e libraries vlogs live connect social media and we have seen about slides now e learning doesn't just happen but it requires careful planning and implementation so before you take in your class you should have a planning after this slide i'm going to ask this question and i'm going to get response from this supposingly if the student is going to ask a question maybe and you could have seen next slide the next slide should present for the answer for the question all right so as teachers you know what kind of questions for you it is the known subject right for the students it is an unknown subject but you are richly experienced so you know what kind of questions generally they ask you can have the answers on the next slide so e learning doesn't doesn't just happen it requires careful planning and implementation it requires careful planning and implementation so when you take a types of e learning platforms you have personalized learning we will be seeing about edmodo today how many of you have used anybody has used edmodo e d m o d o edmodo s yes or no if it is yes type y no type n no okay we'll see about it okay and then we will be also seeing about big blue button okay so when you take educators app we have seen about some of you told about kahoot some of you told you about nearpod google classroom i know everybody are using it and we'll see about big blue button anybody has used big blue button before big blue button yes no Thank you, Vanjal. You have tried it before. No, we'll be seeing about the demonstration of Big Blue Button also. 
All right. But time is quite challenging. Let's see to the best what we'll be able to do it. All right. And you can also see on my YouTube channel, I've got like three hour sessions also there. You can see 100 minute session or also on e-learning tools are there. So classroom teaching, e-learning, and mostly we go on for blended learning nowadays. Okay. Technology does not replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers like you, it can be transformational. How beautiful, right? How beautiful technology because of technology you need not have, be uh, worried it will replace great teachers no but once the technology are in the gray hands of great teachers like you and me it makes it transformational it makes transformational thank you all for so much of cooperation on google slide thank you aruna ma'am click like subscribe every event of mine i post it on my youtube channel because every time people ask maybe even after the session we could listen to it okay how many of next tool that we're going to see is about google jamboard okay how many of you have used google jamboard or you have not used no okay now let's quickly jump into google jamboard Okay, again, I'm going into my Gmail. I'm clicking on the nine dots on top, right? Okay, when I come down, can you see? Here is where is my Jamboard. Okay, I'm going to click on the Jamboard. Okay, and then I'm going to click the plus symbol on top down. And this is also available in a mobile and also systems pcs laptops ipad so i'm opening a new jamboard jamboard is like a whiteboard they say or you can have it like a blackboard everything you cannot put it onto the site sometimes you wish to have uh, things on so that you want to write something and teach to students okay so i'm taking a black color or whatever background you want if you're teaching max if you want to have a rules you want to have a checks or you want to have pictures or you want to have a blue board whatever is the color you can choose and you've got different color pens okay so and also you can write like this e learning okay when you want to teach something to students like this you can write or if you made some mistake if you want to rub you can rub and you have, you have got different thickness, okay? And different thickness is also available, okay? And if you want to handline, okay? Like a marker or you want to have a paint kind, that also could be done. And the most important thing, you can have a sticky notes. Hello? Some tools, okay? And again, I can click it on, I can drag it. So some of you told about uh, you have used Google Classroom. Okay. So you can ask students what are the tools that they have learned. And again, I can click it on. I can use a different color. Some of you, you said Google Meet and you are using Google Meet now. Most of you have used Zoom. Yes. And then some of you have told WebEx. Yes. Some of you told about, uh, what is that, MS Teams, okay. Like that you can have sticky notes also when you teach classes. How you plan it and how you teach, okay. Like you rub the board and you go to the next thing. Here you have got a next frame. Here it is called next frame. If you want to use some images, all kind of images you can have if you want to fill it with color you can fill it with color okay and whatever the different shapes it allows okay if you want to have a connector between these and this that could be done that could be done okay if you want to click it and if i want to fill it that is also possible any shapes if you want to teach students that you can use it through this okay for drawing tools and then if you want to have a textbook, okay? So if you want to ask a question or want to type, how do you feel Google Board? 
Google Jamboard. Would be would be useful for teaching. And ask a question. You can make it as a text. And if you want to make it a bigger one, you can make it a bigger one. If you want to change the colors of it, you can do it. All right. And if you want to teach, and you, you can also use a laser light. You know, A is connected to B, and B is connected to C, and you can say, and A is connected to C, something on Max or something. And also, the next facility that Jamboard provides, you can include, you can upload a picture. You want to teach or if you want to use your own camera and you want to explain some components about something like I'm just using a picture I can take a click of it and then live itself you can insert it okay okay this it allows if you want to search something on net okay maybe if you're going to take about uh, psychology okay psychology facts or something if you want to teach this concept you can click and click insert it will be directly inserted here and then you can teach to students and see psychology safety love belonging esteem and you can use laser lights and you can ask students to paste around sticky notes. And you can also along paste around sticky notes. So using a Google Drive, any pictures are there in your Google Drive, you can use it. If you've got in your Google Photos, you can use it. And also this is very new. From a directly when you teach from a camera, then select, insert. Can you see it is getting inserted live? So live pictures when you teach for experiments step by step or something like that. If you want, you can also do it. Okay. And the same way as we have shared your Google slides, now I'm going to share a Google Jamboard. Okay. And you're all you as I move for four slides, you can um, you can keep changing uh, different slides. Okay. Uh, sorry, not slides. I'm sorry. Different frames. Here you don't say slides. Here you say frames. I'm going to share the link on the chat. Yeah, students can enter. That's what I'm coming now. For this one and a half session, I am your faculty and you are students. I must learn. Now you are learning. Now everybody come to Jamboard. Yeah. I could see more onto different frames. You can share how do you feel Google Jam borders. And also I can when you click on the student, you can know where they are exactly. Yeah. All right. Take more on to different frames. Try one some of the features that I've taught you. Kindly explain the camera picture again. Click on camera. Then you get like this when your, when your laptop has got a camera. And then what do you want to teach? You can use some tools or some products like this and take a picture. And here you, you have to get the blue frame here. Then I click it on which picture I want. And then click insert. It gets inserted. I don't know who it is, but I've showed you the demo again. I'm sorry for the expression of the picture. I'm speaking and doing it. I am life. I am a life. 
okay i don't know they're trying to write you can also use text to type i am a lifelong learner okay thank you what about others everybody try something don't be on the first slide move to the few other sorry don't be on the first frame keep moving on to the frames try to use some of the functionality thank you dr shashikala ma'am learner very neat handwriting <laughs> what about others very you can use pen and also you can use sticky notes try to use sticky notes try to use text thank you welcome wonderful nice to have active participants i am really enjoying this session thank you ma'am thanks thank you i don't know sir or ma'am thank you professor nice session very interesting how can you send the link during the session click share publicly on the web copy it and paste it one it's once you are using google classroom or google slide it's only for your students post it on google classroom and give editing options so all the students of your particular class alone will be able to access your google slide i repeat it when you share this google jamboard onto your google classroom and give access only to students as editors only students will be able to join directly from the google classroom link how you post your question papers using google forms very good I, we are behaving like students so thank you it's really interesting ma'am thank you light i don't know they are type, typing something light i started i completed with four slides i don't know which language it is i cannot understand this language okay but you could translate okay so you are all able to use it right you are able to use it lively session interesting thank you some of them tried background change okay that's wonderful so today's session we have got still uh, maybe 10 more minutes to go to complete the session okay and uh, so we have tried about google jamboard and google uh, slides yeah feedback link will be sent don't worry knowledgeable and wonderful session still we have got something more to learn little few more minutes okay so even i've got the next session by three next meeting by three all right a great teacher can make every subject interesting so my dear teachers faculties professors it's in your hand to make any subject interesting what not the tools is not going to make so whenever you start have innovative methods when you start your class right i always tell whenever i go for training sessions for faculties the first three minutes of the class grasp the attention of the students so start by telling a story or ask a question or play a game how we started today be entertaining refer your thing with the current events right when we asked you how, how are you doing like in this pandemic how we are all fine it's a grace and mercy of god all right and start your speech by giving hope it's a very interesting subject though it's a very difficult subject give them hope refer to your recent conversation compliment the students right start with the positive note what kind of teacher you are if i want to frame you one name i'm this kind of teacher what can each of you give what kind of teacher you are a red blue button won't you teach that ma'am red blue button okay not red blue button it is big blue button i will surely teach you it's big blue button okay okay we have got 10 minutes more before which what kind of teacher you are few of you i'm a ded are you a dedicated just one word that represents your teaching your teaching style dedicated smart or what hard working hardly working smart working what kind of teacher you are can you post it on the chat yes please you define yourself smart teacher thank you smart yes we have got smart watch smart fridge smart tv smartphones you can touch the hearts of students that's wonderful samita ma'am what about others define yourself what kind of teacher you are all right 
and they may forget what you said but they will never forget what you feel how soundita ma'am said right how professor barbi came into her hostel and check how they eat how they sleep so that's more important i some of you would have been using google lenses okay i am not going into google lens uh, because uh, you can use it for home for homeworks sharing it and ai pod and it is also a very good tool for teaching okay so now we will move into we have got uh, a nine more minutes to complete okay uh, we'll move on to google classroom you already know we move on to big blue button the difference between big blue button is that it allows breakout rooms it allows breakout rooms for students okay and uh, you have a private chat you have a polling option okay big blue button after this demonstration we'll directly jump into the quiz i don't know whether will be have time for quiz tools are more okay i think because i have the next session at 3 okay more thing we want you to try it now so this is about the big blue button okay before they gave an option for uh, recording because of this pandemic there's huge hunt okay and uh, it's a global teaching platform used in school not in board rooms okay it's a lms integration all these things that happen okay so i'm going to sign in you can sign in with your normal gmail you can sign in with your normal gmail i use so many mails okay for my we have a, we take care of a school for my company and i've got i every day i check almost 10 emails okay. so that's a lot of emails pops and i know even faculties so here you can click it on can you see this is how the session opens i'm going to create a room i'm going to give it as sfs room okay you can have options like mute students when they join require moderator to approval before no allow anyone to start the meeting no which means only the faculty will be able to start even in my company cirf.co.in you can find it out but we provide google suite setting for institutions where in the google meet integrated with google classroom okay Mm, we will also have uh, uh, restrictions of how teachers only can start okay i'm going to create a room so the room will be created can you see the room is created Once the room is created, you can start. Okay, and then you can share the link. Listen only. Okay, I'm going to share the link on the chat. i want to engage the students with our boring understanding motivated thank you committed teachers expert error i can yeah click it on and you now you can join on the big blue button i can see when you join as and when you join i can see your names being popped in i have given the link on the chat kindly click the link and join Yeah, I can see Guna Sir Branish joining. Yes, and here also the same way. If I click it on, like all the users can come and they can use the multi board. You uh, who have joined, Rima Devi, Mam Guna, Mam Branish Sir, I've given the multi board for the slide two alone. See, so move your mouse to the slide onto the top right, Milton Sir. Yeah, I can see Guna Sir coming. 
same way here you can keep drawing if you want to draw okay or if you want to have what thickness want to change the color change the shape when you want to teach you all can try doing it okay you can all try doing it okay same way we have text if you want to annotate or not annotate or you want to type or you want to type you want to write use a pencil okay. or you want to have a text hello everybody come into this janet ma'am aruna ma'am come into this slide i can i cannot see any of your hands i've given it open everybody can use keep yeah samita ma'am has given the chat yeah jaganjit singh has raised hands and you have an option to lower hands come and use this multi board slide try using the multi board slide yeah samita ma'am raised hands you can more and also you can have a pool how do you find today's session okay i can give an option like use a response i'm going to start the poll you will all get a poll and when you given response i think 15 of them have joined i can see the answers here as a faculty yeah excellent one of them have given savita ma'am has given excellent jagandeep singh has given professor has given excellent and one of them have given milton professor has given very nice uh, and you can also see how students they give answers right lively thank you manjula ma'am very interactive thank you reema ma'am all right thank you all for having a very good interactive session today and this is how we use big blue button and also it allows breakout rooms it also allows breakout uh, rooms all right so there are even many more tools maybe sometime in the future if we get time I, i'll be able to teach the different tools that is more good uh, for uh, uh, making the students interactive always have blended body of uh, teaching um, so this is the link of uh, today's session and be posting it out give your comments and your likes how did you find the session how was it interesting yeah excellent lively very nice and also you can have an option for breakout rooms okay thank you uh, so today we saw about google uh, classroom sorry google slides google jamboard big blue button interesting thank you priya ma'am okay i'll just share my contact details with you the world is small any time we can get connected okay if you want to explore more tools about it and also we are providing right now internship on data science for students on machine learning deep learning for 3 months so any of your college of any department would be interested you will be able to okay, get get connected with me i've shared all my details on the chat thank you all for joining i need to ha i have another session by 3 any questions so today's session we started with e learning tools then we moved on to Google slides and Jamboard and Big Blue button. Over to the organizers. Thank you. Thanks a lot, ma'am. It was really a very wonderful and interactive session. We are really awaiting to start off once again our online session so that we can explore uh, these tools which you have explained mm. and see how interactive we can make. So let me call on Professor Gautami to propose vote of thanks. the essence of all beautiful art is gratitude good afternoon everyone it's an honor to deliver vote of thanks on behalf of the department of computer applications and ict of st francis research college i thank our resource person dr dorin robin for an interactive informative and innovative session thank you much
My word of thanks to Reverend Father Dr. Lord, Principal, for his immense support in conducting the workshop. Thank you, Father. I'd like to this, take this opportunity to thank our Vice Principal, Reverend Father Dijotos, for all the guidance to conduct this event effectively. Thank you, Father. And without them, the workshop would not be so likely. Our participants who have joined across, a special thanks to each and every one of you. Thank you, everyone. Doing the best at the moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. So keep doing the best. Once again, thank you all. Welcome, welcome all. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Uh, we will be meeting you all again in tomorrow's session.